What's going on, my two squad? What's up, my fam bam? So we're here for another car bong, another lunch car bong. But why not? I mean, might as well record while I eat. So today, guys, we are having some local Chinese food. And um, I had this the other day, and your brother had to come back and get more. <laughs> because it's been a hot minute since I've been uh, to this place. So I decided to come back. It's on uh, the south side of town called Golden Star Cafe. And um, so I hadn't had it probably, I don't know, maybe a year. So I decided to come back and have it and boy, I came back to a very nice surprise because I don't know what they did, but they put their foot in it. So I had to come back and get me some more pork chow mein, guys. Amazing pork chow mein from Golden Star Cafe. There's only so many places in our town that have, in my opinion, really good chow mein. And um, so I had to come back to see what if this one is is as good as it used to be. Mm. And then in line, it really is. It's some good chow mein. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Yeah, you know, growing up, we had so many we had Chinese delis all around downtown. We had a mini little block that was Chinese like a little mini Chinatown, kind of. And then we had little delis in and around the neighborhood. So, you know, we were, we were spoiled with Chinese food, you know, really good Chinese food. Growing up. Mm. It's so good. You don't need nobody's soy sauce or nothing it is seasoned very very well when you go like these big places like Panda Express and these little Chinese buffets that they be having it ain't the same the quality of their the Chinese food is not the same the quality of the um, ch chow mein is not the same. This is what I'm used to. Bean sprouts, fresh onions, barbecue pork. Man, these are so good. Now y'all saw That I also brought another box out. <laughs> I'm not eating this whole thing, guys. Literally, I probably can eat maybe a quarter of this. It's a lot. <clears throat> so I'll take it home for dinner. I have a long day today. I'm working till about 7 o'clock today, so... And normally, your brother be hungry by 5.30 or 6 o'clock. So, I'm going to be digging into this as soon as I get home. So. Wow. That's what's coming. So. Let me get into something that they have that's really good here too, y'all. And I hope y'all can see this. Because this is smothered. Egg Puyang is smothered in this gravy y'all it is oh my god y'all can't even see it look at that Ooh, wee baby their pork egg foo young is everything again there's only so many places that really sell some bomb egg foo young and this is one of the places it's called golden star cafe chop suey off of el dorado at 8th street if y'all don't know about the hood and some good hood chinese food Mmm. Yes. This is some good stuff. Now I wish y'all can partake. And this egg for young has 
bean sprouts and eggs and onions and this <clears throat> this amazing brown gravy with chunks of barbecue pork baby mm. yeah now what I love about this dish too is that the eggs aren't overly salty like this the salt of it or the seasoning comes from the gravy itself so they don't over salt their food which is great sometimes you go to Asian places and they put salt on everything but on this you could kind of taste that they don't put salt in the egg for young itself itself it's the gravy that gives the the flavor mm. Look at that. Why not? Why not partake in some goodness? Mm -hmm. So if y'all have local joints in your area, That you guys partake in like you know outside of you know panda express which is really guys americanized and even these restaurants are somewhat americanized it's not going to be overly authentic but it's it's closer to authentic than you know your panda expresses would be look at that i can't get away from this chime y'all mm. I mean, it's so bomb. Now, <clears throat> they used to have, <clears throat> I used to always order the, um, the chow mein with the pan fried noodles. But the last time I was here, I ordered that and they made a mistake and gave me the soft noodles. And now, that was a good mistake because I actually prefer the soft noodles than I do the um, pan fried noodles now. Hmm. I hope this box don't fall apart. Please don't fall apart on me. Yeah, my carpal tunnel is about to get me. I'm about to start using a fork in a hot minute. But I feel like I can get more with the chopsticks. Mmm. So if y'all have local places that you guys go to, again, our town has a, a lot of variety of Chinese food you can go to. All over town. And downtown and, and um, south side of Stockton used to have a lot more. And they've closed, you know, with time. Especially our downtown ones, which were popping back in the day. Oh my God. I feel like this is the best time in. Maybe because I'm hungry right now. I'm gonna have to do a comparison of chow mein's. <clears throat> this has to rank in the top three in town. It does. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna slow my roll. Let me get back to this egg for young a little bit. Going back and forth, y'all. It's a little overcast again today. <clears throat> you know, wintertime overcast, some, some showers today. But not too bad. 
Mm. Oh my god. Look at all that, y'all. Egg, barbecue pork, gravy, bean sprouts. Mmm. I'm gonna be bean sprout sprouted out today. There's bean sprouts in the for young. There's bean sprouts in this chamain. Jesus. <clears throat> and the thing about chamain here, guys, is you have to order it when it's fresh. It's actually good. It's not good cold. You have to reheat it. Mm. When this mug is fresh, boy, I think I'm almost through half the box, so I lied and said I was just going to eat a quarter, right? I can feel my stomach expanding, guys. I think it's going to be my last bite. Let's make it a good one. We're going to make this a good one right here. Bam. There it is. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all, <clears throat> my lip is greased up from that greasy chamain boy. Greasy chamain goodness. All right. Well, thank y'all for hanging out with me on this lunch car bomb again, like we be doing. Y'all let me show out on some local foods that I eat here in town. I'm good. That's going to sit for a minute and then go to the fridge at work so I can bring it home. Um, <clears throat> I appreciate you hanging out with me on this. Carbon guys, Golden Star Cafe. Um, we will see you on the next one. If you guys have not yet, please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that red, turn it gray. That red button. Excuse me, I'm always burping right after I eat. Red button gray. And hit that bell notification, guys. I always say we are at the end of 2019 and 2020 is just a couple weeks away. I can't believe it, y'all. If not just a week away, depending on when this gets released. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye, my two squad. We'll see you guys later. Bye.